is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i'm going to show you guys how you can make the ultimate Finn Balor Elite Action Figure as well as some other customs that we have guys, but uh, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Rodney from RKO1974 on Instagram guys. He hooked us up with the Ultimate Finn Balor parts because he created not only an Ultimate Head Scan, but he created some interchangeable hands that we're going to take a look at and he sent us a care package, Finn Balor themed, and we're going to dive right into it guys. This figure may be one of my favorite figures in my collection now, but let's go ahead and take a look at the note here. He says, Brosif, here is your Balor care package from RKO Customs. Keep making the video slash customs, especially figure surgery. This is a token of appreciation for the inspiration you give me every day. And remember, every day is Balor Club. Too sweet. Enjoy, Brosif. From Rod, RKO Customs. Thank you so much, brother. You are an absolute beast. Everybody should know who Rod is. He he writes into the, the channel all the time. He provides us with epic mail calls. And he, he, just, he provides just such awesome content for us. But let's go ahead and take a look, guys. He hooked us up with a custom Intercontinental Championship, as well as some other things. Go ahead and get it right here. He hooked us up with a sticker. I love this again. You know, we got Unstable 1047 sticker yesterday. Today, we got my boy Rods. This is my second of his, I think. So, uh, that, that's the uh, that's another sticker from him. We have the Finn Balor non-demon going into the demon there. It's like sort of like a, a playing card. You got the, the black heart and then the, the red heart there. Really sweet looking sticker, and then we have the big old bat. Oh, it's sort of this is pretty much the old Batman logo, but instead of Batman, it says Balor. Got the demon face right there. Just epic stuff, guys. I, I love this so much. So what we have here, guys, he also included this Finn Balor head scan, and this Finn Balor head scan is probably the best Finn Balor head scan in the game today. I don't know if you guys know. Um, I've always say like the figure that I want from Mattel or the head scan that I want from Mattel most is this right here. A long, thick beard Finn Balor with a faded haircut on the sides, guys. And look what Rod did. Look at how beautiful this is, guys. You have the thin part of the beard. I, I talk about this all the time on the channel. You have the thin part of the beard, and it gradually gets thicker into the thicker beard. It's a more accurate color to his facial hair, and he provided the fade job in the haircut. And I think there's like a little piece of plastic flaking off there. I can get that fixed. I don't know if it's... I need you to let me know down below, Rod. Is this sealed? Because I don't know. I want to seal it up if it's not sealed. That way I don't damage it. But you guys can see the faded haircut all the way around looking absolutely beautiful. I love this so much. So that is what you need for, for an ultimate Finn Balor. That is the head skin that you want to do. You want to shave down the sides here, get it, you know, uh, sculpt on a longer beard, make sure that it's thin on the sides, that way it gradually gets thicker, that's how Finn Balor's, you know, beard does, absolute beard goals, I mean, my god. Next up for the body, guys, you just need a regular Finn Balor Elite, you know, any Finn Balor will do, but you do want to interchange the ha the arms with Daniel Bryan arms, maybe you have an Elite, maybe you have a Basic, doesn't matter, just make sure it has white wrist tape, because he, he nowadays, Finn Balor is rocking the white wrist tape, so you definitely need to have white wrist tape arms. Then he provide us, provided us with some interchangeable hands, guys. Look at this. A two sweet hand. Look how freaking beautiful that is. Look how perfect that is. That is a perfect two sweet hand. It is loose because this is not interchangeable arms. I'm sure that what I'll probably do is get my Daniel Bryan Elite that we got from ringside. I'll take its arms off. That way that the arms or the hands will actually be very, you know, stiff when they go in instead of so loosey-goosey. So the reason they're loosey-goosey is because these are the older Mattel arms, so I'll have to fix that that later on but look how perfect that is i think he uses the entrance greats hands from finn balor you know the ones that are wide open like this like the five or the ten ty dillinger hands and he he pretty much heated them up and then connected them at the thumb and super glued that so maybe we can do a tutorial on that one day on how we do that. But the two sweet hand looks so good. He also provided a right hand, but I, I like the left hand better. The left hand came out a little bit better in my opinion. So there is that. Down here, this is just regular black trunks. I will be painting this blue so that it matches, you know, the, uh, the, the attire he's wearing right now on SmackDown Live. The, the blue attire. It's pretty much the blue version of the Royal Rumble 2019. And then going down, we do have blue knee pads to match the trunks eventually. And then we have Elite 43 Kofi Kingston lower leg 
legs and kick pads. So this gives you the, the white tape look on the shins and then this gives you the white kick pads that you need. I'm sure he has like some gold trim on the shoes or some sort of trim on the shoes but I haven't gotten there just quite yet. But there is your ultimate Finn Balor guys. What a beautiful piece. This is absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much Rod for the epic head scan and hands. It looks so perfect man. I, I am literally just genuinely so excited for this figure and the way it looks. I freaking love this stuff man. Beautiful looking head scan. I can't get over it. That looks so good. That looks so good man. You're getting better and better at sculpting every single day. Not only did he include the Finn Balor stuff guys but he included the Finn Intercontinental Championship. You guys know Finn Balor is the Intercontinental Champion so we have this beautiful title here. He pretty much just cut the uh he removed the plates from the Mattel Intercontinental title and then took a custom cut up strap that he got uh, I've, I used to have this material I think you can get it off eBay but then he glued it to the leather and then he put some beads on there he even put the title clip at the end and it is Velcro so this thing looks great too man I mean he just nailed it it's a perfect Finn Balor figure even with the, the Intercontinental Championship is perfect you guys can see it has the heft to it just really good stuff. Using the Mattel Championship Championship, so he killed that. And not only do we have the ultimate Finn Balor figure, guys, we have a couple Finn Balor customs here that I was working on the last time you guys saw, but now they are pretty much complete, except for a Balor Club logo or two. Here is Money in the Bank 2019. So here's Finn Balor from his match where he literally destroyed himself, you know, seeing almost with the sunset flip over the ladder onto the, uh, or the power bomb onto the other ladder. You have the, the navy color going on. You got the shoe details. You got the gray and navy kick pads. These are Elite 53 knee pad, Elite 53 Miz kick pads and knee pads, and then I just painted them up, and then this is just a top talent Sven Balor with an arm swap and the trunks painted navy. Pretty easy custom, very simple to do, but there is Money in the Bank 2019. And then we have St. Patrick's Day Finn Balor here, which he has never worn on TV. He's never worn this attire on TV, but it is finally complete. You got, you know, the greens going all the way around. You got the green on the back, the green triangle pattern, the, the light green metallic color going on. And again, he's never worn this on television, but he has worn it at live events on multiple occasions. He's even worn the trunks one time in Mexico with white knee pads and red kick pads, I think or red knee pads and white kick pads to symbolize Mexico's flag. We're building up the Finn Balor's, man. We have like a rainbow going on. So we have navy, we have blue, we have green, we have red, we have other reds, we have white, we have gray. I mean, we have all kinds of colors going on, but I love this Finn Balor, guys. I freaking love this Finn Balor. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm super excited for it, guys. Go follow Rod at RKO1974 on Instagram. Really underrated customizer. He made an epic WrestleMania 35 Demon Finn Balor, and he's going to hook us up with some future customs in the uh, in the future that are going to be absolutely phenomenal and they're going to play a huge part in the channel so you guys will have to wait on those but they're they're going to be worth the wait but Finn Balor looks great guys this is how you make the ultimate Finn Balor this head scan is perfect this is my favorite Finn Balor my collection or it will be once I get done customizing the trunks and everything so we'll have to knock that out but it will be done soon enough also guys if you did not see my post from yesterday all of Vindication's championship titles besides the Revolutionary Championship are up for download on WWE 2K19 only for PS4 players so if you go over to the community creations, you search MDT, search My Damn Toys, or search Vindication, space out My Damn Toys in the hashtag list when you're searching on the community creations. They should pop up the Elite Championship, the Iron Man Championship, and the MDT Tag Team Championships, the you know the Young Bucks, the Zebra Prince Strap, the, the, those tag titles over on Vindication are up on WWE 2K19, so if you guys would like to go download those, I would really appreciate it if you would. I'm still working on getting the Revolutionary title up. I don't know what the hell the deal is. It just, I don't know, it's not popping up. If anybody has a way to get around that, um, please let me know down in the comment section below. It's just not popping up, man, but what an epic Finn Balor, guys. Another thing that I want to use 2K19 for is to create fantasy attires on the game and then translate them from the game into figure form. So that is another reason why I got 2K. I probably won't even play that much wrestling. If anything, I'll get on universe mode, maybe upload some content to you guys, maybe, you know, upload me playing it on live stream or something. I don't know, but I did want to get that just so uh, I could create some things because I like to, you know, customize and create and stuff, but 
Huge shout out to Rod again for the epic package, man. I, I love all the Sven Balor gear. You guys know he's one of my favorites in the world today. But um, let me know, know down in the comment section below. Do you like the ultimate Finn Balor? Do you like the St. Patrick's Day Finn Balor? Do you like the Money in the Bank Finn Balor? Guys, let me know down in the comment section below. But I'm going to throw the Intercontinental strap here on Mr. Balor. And then I'm going to give him a two sweet here. And we're going to get out of here to end the video. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Get a little too sweet sauce from, from Finjamin Balor.